She has shut all the doors. The light is still on. The back door is closed. And yet it's showing that the door is open. So this happened a few times at night time. So you know with the lights on it'll drain the battery. So what I had to do go into the fuse box and I had to disconnect and your lights just happen to be on all the time from one of the door jar switches being on. Just come under the dash and locate fuse 29 which is this one right here. Now when I pull it off the, the interior lights will go off. See the light behind? There, the lights went off. Okay, they're not shutting off. But anyway, there's two switches on the inside of these latches. And what I've been doing is I've been spraying menthol hydrate on that latch and this latch and it seems to clean the switch for 10-20 minutes every time you open and close it. So the back hatch is open now. I took the fuse out. There's no lights on. So now I'm going to take the panel off. I'll set the camera up and on the stand. Just take a screwdriver in here and pry it. I heard one snap off there. So anyway, that's what has to be done to all of them. Oh. Yeah, that's where the piece cracked off here. And my wipers aren't working, so maybe I can have a look at them now. I'm thinking the wiper motor is burnt out. There's the switch. And I'll move to the left side. And there's the other switch. Right there at the back end, and there's a little clip. Your guess is good as mine which one it is. So, is it the right or the left one? Since this is a 1998 Windstar, the switch works reversed to the newer ones. When you just disconnect it, the lights go off. I made the mistake of stripping the wires and touching them together makes the lights go on. See? And then I just connect, take the wires off, the lights go off. So I'll have to retape these up and just leave them disconnected for now until I get some new switches. In there, new switches right there. Two of them. Live and learn, eh? And also, these 
things are hard to pull out when it's cold out. I have to close the hatch and get it warmed up and then pull these out because that's they're destroying them in the cold. And I was going to show you the side door. I had trouble with the side door a couple years ago. It was so cold that the contacts weren't making contact here. Right there. This side and this side here. So what I did was I just opened this up and uh, I put the wires together so no matter what you do with the side door the the buzzer doesn't work or the lights but I thought I'd show you that and I've cleaned these pins so many times but it had to do with the rubber it was like 38 30 40 below and the rubbers were so stiff that it was definitely not making contact one cold day no matter how many times I slammed the door on that, it, it was not working. So I thought I'd mention that, this, you know, on this van. Now you go to the passenger side, and you open the door. And it doesn't chime, it just goes beep, like that. So you... So there's a different sound for each door. Fuse number 29. Just so the lights would shut off at nighttime. Because the dimmer only sh sh turns the lights on. It does not dim the lights inside the cabin. Uh, newer Windstars do that, but not this one. Okay, I taped them up and I just taped them away. I didn't plug them back in. And I'm going to take them out after I go get some other ones from the auto record to, to switch inside here. But for now, I've done both sides. I guess it's a lot easier to pull fuse 29 out, but when you pull fuse 29 out, the, uh, the power windows don't work either, along with the dome light. 